This right here is the 2022 Subaru WRX, which is part of the newest generation of the WRX, and we are gonna talk about whether or not it's worth the purchase or not. My name's Trent, and you're watching God Next. Now, the newest generation of the WRX is honestly a very controversial one, as in people either love it or they hate it. But to talk about some of the things that I honestly think look great, we'll start off with the front end. This car is finished in World Rally Blue, which has been a part of the Subaru legacy ever since the WRX debuted here 20 years ago. Also, you notice on the front of this car, it's got a more aggressive looking headlights and grille, which to me just makes this car look 10 times better than the previous generation. Though there are some things on this car that don't look as good. For example, if you look over on the wheel arches, they're all plastic and they add this honeycomb feature, which is supposed to make the car more aerodynamic and ride better but it just gives it a tacky and cheaper look. A few things they've added to this car to also make it look more aggressive and run better is they've added this air vent on the hood to make it run better and help with the engine performance. Another improvement Subaru did make to the new generation of the WRX is they did upgrade the engine just a little bit though. This car is equipped with a 2.4 liter turbocharged flat four engine as compared to the previous generation's two liter flat four turbo engine. Though this may be a little bit bigger of an engine, it's only producing three more horsepower at 271 horsepower as compared to the previous generation's 268 horsepower. And this also does produce the same amount of pound-feet of torque at 258 pound-feet of torque, which is the exact same as the previous generation. So although they did give it a bigger engine, there's not that much of a boost in performance-wise. Now moving on to the back of the car, I think Subaru did make a big improvement with the entire rear end of this car as it looks more aggressive and sporty, especially if you look at these taillights. To me, they're absolutely gorgeous. They do have a very specific design and texture on the inside. And also, with all the Subaru WRX, you do get these quad tip tailpipes, which do have an amazing sound. And we'll listen to that right now. Also with this car, you do get a decent amount of storage space with a total of 12 and a half cubic feet of storage, which is great for any grocery trips or small road trips you're doing with this car. Once you're actually in the car, you'll notice it is very comfortable and quite spacious. The gauge cluster here looks great and it looks brand new. Also in this car, you get a massive infotainment center, which is touchscreen and can have anything you'd possibly want in it. Moving on to the door panels, you notice it has these carbon fiber texture finish, which gives it a more sporty and aggressive look, which is what you'd want from your WRX. And this car also does come with a manual, which honestly one of my favorite features of the car. You don't see very many manuals today and to see a new car with a manual transmission, it makes it even more special than it normally is. Also in this car, you do get the sunroof, which is great for if you want to drive with the windows down or you just want to have the roof open a little bit. One of, my one of the features I don't really care for about this car is they did get rid of the leather wrap seats in the new WRX. You can only get it standard with these uh, cloth wrap seats, which to me makes it look a little bit cheaper, but they're still comfortable seats. Now driving the car is a fun experience, which is to be expected with any Subaru, to be honest. But since this car is a manual, you do get more of a driver's feel for it. And it does have quite a bit of pickup. If I drop a gear and I step on it, it picks up pretty much right away. Shifting is smooth. The gear shifter is great. Also, the steering wheel is very responsive. Anytime I turn, you don't have that lag. Honestly, it's a great car to drive. And personally, I would daily this car. Um, it's comfortable, it sounds great, and I think it's overall a great driving experience. Overall, the new Subaru WRX is not a bad car at all. And personally, it's grown on me a lot. You do get a lot of features with this car and you could still get it in a manual. Also, you can get this car in this gorgeous World Rally Blue, which is one of my favorite colors for Subaru. For $30,000, I don't think this is a bad car, but let us know what you guys think in the comments if this is worth it or not. And if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching.